Hey guys, well, hey guys, welcome to another mod showcase. I haven't had a mod showcase in so long, but now I'm finally have another one. This is a work in progress mod, which is the Zelda Sword Skills mod. It's a very cool mod. Um, it's definitely going to become a really big mod, and yeah. So, first off, I'm going to be talking about these locked chests. As you can see, if I right click them, they won't work, but if I give myself a small key, which is uh, found in dungeons, you can right click, it uses it up, and it turns into a normal chest. And here, what I have is placed a bunch of keys. As you can see, the small key opens that. Now, here are these doors. I don't believe they naturally spawn yet, but you can't break them unless you're in creative mode. And what you need is the same color key as the door to open them. And these are, keys are all found in dungeons. A lot of the things in this game are found in dungeons. And, yeah, uh, like, the pink key, red key, and black key. The skeleton key can open any lock you want, so if I get, let's see, the blue boss door, I can open it, I can open a lock chest, I can open anything with the skeleton key. I don't know if that's going to be a boss drop eventually, but I don't know. Alright, so, uh, next, there are only two crafting recipes in this game, one being the ceramic jars, crafted with five bricks, you can get eight of them from this, and when you throw them, there's a chance that you get an emerald or arrows. I didn't seem to get any arrows, but these are supposed to reference rupees, and you do get arrows in the game from it, so if I get a myself a bunch of ceramic jars, as you can see, uh, emeralds and arrows will come out of them, and this is what happens in the actual game. And oh, a bomb came out of it. Uh, that's a pretty rare drop. But there's a chance that you get bombs as well, and I'll get to that in a second. That wasn't planned. Uh, next recipe will be the heart container, which, uh, if you look at my health bar right now, I have two extra hearts. These are crafted with four heart pieces, which are found in dungeons, and basically when you right click them, it disappears and you get another heart, which is pretty cool. Uh, here are a whole bunch of items, and I'll go over these slowly. So, uh, let's start with the bombs, because I already have one, um, and the bomb bags. And basically, these bomb bags, they pick up the bombs for you, and yeah, um, basically, when you hold the bomb out in your hand, it'll automatically ignite, and you have to right-click to blow, to blow it up. And there are three types of bombs, fire bombs, water bombs, and normal bombs. The fire bombs and water bombs don't seem to do anything different yet. But, yeah, uh, bomb bag. If you right-click your bomb bag, what it will do is place a bomb in your hand, and you can just throw it, because this this way it won't automatically ignite. And there are different, there are different bomb bags for different um, bombs, and they can each hold different amount of bombs. So, yeah. Uh, and also, if you don't throw the bomb and it explodes, it just launches you up. It won't deal any damage except for fall damage, which is pretty cool. And, uh... All these are found in dungeons or from ceramic jars. And yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. This is what I, I was playing around with them here and testing them out. But uh, those are the bombs and bomb bags. They're all found in dungeons. Now here are the hookshots. Uh, I believe these are also found in dungeons. But this is the hookshot. It only works on wooden materials. So you have to hold it out. And oh, uh, I think, yeah, there we go. I think the reason it didn't work is I was too far. But this is the hookshot extended, it's the exact same thing, just longer distance. But yeah, it works, of course, in the sky. Next is a stone shot, which works on stone, and... Yeah, I'm not f close enough. There you go, of course, the extended. And one thing that I thought was really cool in this is, if you aim it at wood, it destroys it. Which is pretty cool. Um, so... Yeah, um... So that's actually pretty cool. Next is the multi shot, which you can shoot on many materials, being wood, uh, stone, dirt. Uh, the list could probably go on. It doesn't work on those fires. Okay. And of course, there's the extended version. And uh, I will just throw these all away. Now, here's something weird. Uh, if you look at these things, these are the. The claw upgrade, the extender upgrade, and the multi upgrade. I believe the claw upgrade should change your hook shot into a stone shot. The multi upgrade will change it into a multi shot, and this will turn into an extended version. But I don't really know how this works. Like, I I don't know if you put them in like a crafting table. 
I tried to find it. Couldn't really find it. Maybe it's in the forum somewhere. But when I right click, it just says it's not going to work. Perhaps you should ask someone. It says here try left clicking, and uh, that doesn't seem to work. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know who to ask because there's only two mobs in this mod, and both of them don't really do anything. But yeah. Um. Uh. All right. Uh. No, let's not show the mobs. First, we'll get these two items, being one being the magic mirror, which I believe should teleport you back to your, like, spawn, if I remember correctly from the games, but it doesn't seem to work in this. Um, and then second, the rock's feather. Anyone who holds it in their hand will be able to float down lightly and jump higher, which is pretty cool. Alright, and also, um, let's go to the armor. These don't. These don't even have crafting recipes. It's really weird. Um, I think they all will have crafting recipes eventually. But starting with the Kokiri stuff, this is that um, simple lynx armor that he usually wears. And then the Goran armor. There's no boots for them. There's only Kokiri boots. The Goran armor and the Zora armor, trousers, tunic, and hat. And there are two different types of boots. There are heavy boots. Well, other than the Kokiri boots, there's heavy boots which slow you down. I don't know why you'd need it. I think it is in the game you would need it, but... Alright, and now there are the Pegasus boots, which make you run faster and jump higher. Which are really helpful. Um, And uh, let's just throw a whole bunch of this stuff out, because I don't want it. I, I truly don't. And uh, now we'll get this to the sword pedestal. Actually, I'll get to that later. But, um... There are two there are two mobs being the fairy and the Otterock. The Otterock, uh pff, am I on peaceful Jesus? Um Otterock. How do you spell Otterock? I think you can't um Sapon Spawn. Otterock. Octo oh Octorock. I forgot. Okay, but uh So this is the Octorock, it will attack you. These are in the games, however, in the games, they're red, I believe, and they can move around, and oh my god, he's throwing things at me. But when you kill it, oh, I don't like these boots. Um, when you do kill it, it gives you, um, ink sacs, like a normal squid, except it's hostile. And next will be the fairy, which I believe, if you, it will heal you, I believe, like, like, it, it healed me for, like, in the games, it would heal you when you, pick it up, like when you touch it, it, it should heal you, but it didn't really heal me, so yeah, um, that's sort of weird, um, but I believe, uh, if I get, I think I have to get away, Jesus, um, bottle, oh my god, Jesus Christ, um, uh, Turn to peaceful now so they don't bother us, but I'm pretty sure fairies can be found on peaceful. And I believe you can like catch one in a bottle. I don't know why they disappear right away, but like I believe you can catch one in a bottle and get the fairy in the bottle. Which uh doesn't seem to really be possible as of now, but what it does is when you right click it, it should restore you to full health. If I just right click it, it'll heal me up. And there's also the master ore, which doesn't really do anything yet. I'm guessing it's going to be used to make the master sword. And now here are the swords. They're all found in dungeons. I don't even know if they are found in dungeons yet. But yeah, it's extremely work in progress. There are a few broken swords. Broken Kokiri sword, broken Ardent sword, broken giant's knife. And here are all the swords. There is the Kokiri sword, which is said to be in the Kokiri forest. I don't know if there's any new biomes this mod adds, but like, I guess I can't review them because I don't, I don't know. Um, but there's that, uh, the Bigeron Sword, which is really strong, it's unbreakable, has infinite durability. The Ordon Sword, it's as good as a Diamond Sword. Uh, Tempered Sword, it's stronger than a Diamond Sword. Uh, the Master Sword, it's, really, it's stronger than a Diamond Sword. The Giant's Knife, it does a lot of damage, but, uh, it breaks really fast. The Golden Sword, which, I don't know why it's, it is called Golden Sword in the game, but there already is a Golden Sword. But, uh, yeah, um... It's really strong, and finally, the true master sword, which I'm going to hold on to, is the strongest sword of them all, and which makes sense. Now, let's go with these things, the sword pedestals. You can't craft them, 
but I'm guessing that you will be able to in the future. You can place it down. Then with these pedants, you can find, uh, you can make the Triforce. I don't know what order it's in. Okay, it's in like that. And once I press E, you'll see that it lights up, and if I believe, if I take... Oh, I can't take them out. Okay, but you can right-click and put swords in and take them out, which is really cool. It looks like a great decoration. So, yeah. That's for the sword pedestal. I'll take this. Um, and, uh, yeah. No, uh, just one more weapon. Finally, that would be the slingshot. So first is normal is the fairy slingshot, which will just shoot seeds. The scatter shot, which will shoot each, which will use one seed up as three. I believe you can use any type of seeds because these are shooting melon seeds. It just shoots melon seeds no matter what. And finally, the super slingshot, which shoots five. Uh, and yeah, those are really simple. Shoot seeds. And yeah, now here we need to get to the harder, the more advanced things. And there's a reason it's called the Zelda Sword Skill Mod. I haven't even shown any sword skills yet, but uh, here we go. There are nine, currently nine sword skills. These are orbs you can, I believe, yeah, they are dropped from mobs. And I'm pretty sure they use your experience levels to level them up when you right-click them. And you can just keep leveling it up. I leveled up all of mine to maximum. And, uh, yeah. That's sword skills. Uh, let's start off with the basic sword skill. Um, uh, I think what I'll need to do is set to nighttime. Or, no, uh, I'll just use creepers, actually. That'd be better. And uh, for this one, I am going to have to use a wooden sword because it's hard to show with the, the master sword. I'm going to spawn a... Oops. Uh, easy. Okay, I'm going to spawn a creeper and run away quickly, but basically when I press X, it will lock onto it. My face will always lock onto it no matter how I move, but um, it will always be looking towards it. But if you see here, what this does is allows me to keep... Oops. Am I locked onto it? I am. Uh, Hold on, let me see. Using combos, yeah, okay. Dan okay, um, I'm really bad at this, I guess. One, two, oh, that's not a combo. That's not a combo, oh, I forgot to lock onto it, that is why, okay. X. One. One hit under, two hit unders, as you can see, as I keep, ah. Uh, let's do this. One. Two, it does six instead of five. Three, uh, oops, I think I messed up the combo. But as you can see, if you do combos, it will keep doing con consecu consecutively. It will keep doing more and more damage. And uh, I'm not really good at that, I guess, because it's with the creeper. And uh, combos you have to do fast. If you don't do it within the time, then it will get resetted. And yeah. Let's get this combo, the skill orb of sword beam, which is... You must attack while sneaking to activate. So let's target this big slime. Um, shift attack. Oh, oh, well, I think I was a little bit too. F I, was, I was too close to it. But let's do it on this cow. Um, X, shift. Can I do it like? Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, as you can see, my my face will always be direct directed on the cow. But if I press shift and attack with the sword, it will shoot that sword beam. Oh, it's locked onto the slime. Ugh. But yeah, uh, that's the skill of sword beam. That's really cool. Skill orb of spin attack. Here we go. Uh, let's spawn a bunch of cows. Now here's the thing. If I if I lock onto one of them, press left arrow, right left or right arrow, and I hold it, I will spin around and hit them. And ooh, I'm targeting on that guy. Take it out. And yeah, it's really good when you're surrounded by mobs. It's really helpful. You press the left arrow and hold it. But the sword has to be in your hand. Make sure for all these swords in your hand, or else it won't work. And, uh, let's give it a super spin attack, which is the exact same thing, except... X. Except it's a much larger range. So, yeah, that's... Oh, what? Oh, I'm not locked onto it, that's why. But there you go. I believe they all take up exhaustion, and they have charge time, which is like a cooldown timer. So you can't use it more than once in a time. But skill orb of parry. I tried doing this, but it didn't really seem to work. Being like, if I respond to zombie, and what's supposed to happen is if I do this and like, what is it? 
press down. Down. When I press down, oh. when I press down, um, see, all it does is it does the sword animation, but doesn't parry any attacks. I think it might be because it's multiplayer, but uh, cause this is supported in multiplayer, but I can't really seem to parry any attacks. I guess it's for multiplayer, but uh, maybe I was parrying attacks. I just didn't notice. But um, basic sword skill. I did leaping blow. This is good. Um, I believe if you do this, you X onto it. I have no idea. Um, maybe if I do a wooden sword. Then it will make more sense if I lock onto it. I I have no idea. Um. Oh god, these slimes. Let's eat off some steak and uh, heal back up. But um, I can't really seem to get the hang of this one. But uh, it says it will do ten bonus damage. Let's try to do it now. Um. Leaping slash. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to like slash forward, but like it doesn't seem to work. Oh my god, these things are causing so much lag. Um, but yeah, uh, leaping slash. It doesn't really say how to use it, so I'm I'm pretty confused on that one. These uh, like, these are so annoying. So I don't like super flat. Um. Are they over there? Okay, yeah, they are. But, uh, next will be Skill Orb of Dodge. Tap left or right arrow to avoid incoming attacks. Uh, let's do that with these slimes. Press X. Um. It's telling me to, that to do spin attack, but if I take out these spin attack. Uh, okay, wait, um. Okay. Oh yeah, if I press left or right, it'll just dodge for me, I guess. Parry. See if this works? Parry. Ah. Parry doesn't seem... Oh, wait, did that... Did it push him back? No, but if I can dodge them pressing left and right, it'll, like, push me... Ooh. Oh. Looks like you don't even need the orbs to use it. I think the orbs just tell you it and to level it up. That is really cool. Um... Oh, I, n I never knew that. Okay, but, uh, there's two more, that being the skill orb of armor break, and charge up by holding attack. But, uh, okay. See, it's a mistake, because I'm running out pretty fast. Uh, let's do this, if I lock onto it. Oh my god. This thing is too powerful. X. If I do this. Ah. Armor penetrating blow. I see this is. Um, I think if I were to lock onto it, or please move. Oh yeah, if I hold it. Oh, uh, let me see if it like. Yeah, but it did work. I think that just makes you do more damage to it after. But yeah, skill orb of dash is the final one, and attack while blocking to. A dash and oh, I'm not locked onto it. Okay, um, let's do that with the master sword. Uh, X. Ooh. Oh, I see. So if this thing, if this guy is far away from me, and I lock onto him. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can dash onto it. But some of these things are really cool, but those are all of the sword skills currently. I don't know if there's an update or something like that by the time you're watching it, but but by the time you're watching this. But the last three things would be these fires, which I have no idea what they do. I have no idea what they do. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it uh, for this mod. It's a really cool mod. Looks like you don't even need the the orbs to actually do the skills as long as you've leveled them up. Yep. You don't need the skills. That's that's really cool. Uh yeah, I really like this mod. Um especially just for the skills. And mobs have a rare chance to drop the skills. Um I tried recording this before and a creeper did drop 
a skill orb of dodge. But yeah, um, yeah, this is my second time recording it because the first one, the file got corrupted, and yeah, uh, but that's pretty much it for this mod showcase. Hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all later. Um, yeah, uh, the link will be in the description, and that's pretty much it. See you guys all later.